get a good first look at CTAM's new Future Forward. The coveted post-Super Bowl slot on CBS goes to... Nat Geo's SEAL Team 6, ratings mission accomplished, plus all rise for judge and jury. This is the TVNews.TV for Wednesday, November 7, 2012. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington, and we begin with the news of a lot of ch ch, -ch changes at CTAM, one of the top trade associations in the TV industry. So now, in a first of four parts, CTAM President and CEO Char Beals lays out these changes with CTAM's Future Forward. First up, we're not changing CTAM's mission in any way. We are still 100% focused on bringing scale and knowledge to our members so they can manage the future by driving business results today. Our leadership at the executive committee and board level has really worked hard over the last couple of years to align CTAM's programs more closely with the changes in their own companies. Let me tell you what you can expect in 2013 and beyond. We're organized on the three big pillars, cooperative marketing, strategic collaboration, and education. Under cooperative marketing, it's full steam ahead. I've been briefing you for some time about the success of our programs to help the movers, people moving their household between cable companies, stay in the cable family. You know, we'll touch about two million of those this year. And for our cable networks, the CTAM Managed Cable Television Critics Tour is an incredibly efficient way to introduce new original programs to about 275 television writers twice a year. And in our next edition of the TV News, Shar will walk you through CTAM's future forward as it pertains to strategic collaboration. We switch over now to broadcast TV and the CBS series that will get the oh-so-coveted time slot at the conclusion of Super Bowl 47 is... Elementary. Yes, the eyes break out freshman hit drama that's been packing in an average of well over 14 million viewers. Expect that average to rise after February 3rd, 2013. Switching now to cable TV big ratings, National Geographic Channel's controversial SEAL Team 6, the raid on Osama bin Laden, rounded up 2.7 million total viewers, and that is the sixth best audience in National Geographic Channel history. This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Available beginning every Wednesday here at the TVNews.TV. All rise for media legal analyst Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson in our exclusive Judge and Jury. All rise. Mrs. Donnie Roberts is the widow of the late Staff Sergeant Kevin Casey Roberts, who's a war hero. Now, he served two tours of duty, one in Iraq and the last one was in Afghanistan. He was awarded the Bronze Star and he also received a Purple Heart for his service. Now, Mrs. Roberts is suing Fox Entertainment Group, Fox Cable Networks, and also the National Geographic Society because she claims they published the image of herself and her two children in a widely distributed National Geographic documentary called Inside Afghan ER, and she's demanding that they stop the further release of the film. She claims that that documentary included unauthorized images of herself on a family trip to Disney World, and she thinks that photograph was taken from her deceased husband's personal laptop after his death without her permission or his permission, and the images included images of herself and her two minor children in that document, and she certainly did not give permission for that release. Now, that documentary was distributed widely around the world by Fox, and they even won a prize in Asia. She now says in the lawsuit that she suffered mental anguish, shock, sadness, as a result of her allegedly unauthorized appearance in this video. She also suggests that Fox Cable TV networks are putting the lives of herself and her children at danger. And they're doing this for profit because she's concerned that her children were depicted as the children of a war hero who's fighting the war on terror. So the lawsuit is really not seeking out and out financial damages. She's claimed to have suffered irreparable harm 
and that the economic damages available are inadequate to remedy that harm caused, which I would assume is fear. Now, Mrs. Roberts is asking instead for an injunction. She wants to stop the further airing and marketing of inside Afghan ER and demanding that they be prohibited from using military family member images or likenesses for commercial purposes without written permission. I must say that I do agree with her position in this lawsuit. All rise. The TV News Judge and Jury is brought to you by TVLegalNews.com featuring media legal analyst Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson. Log on to TVLegalNews.com. You know what? We want you very involved in every facet of the TV News' fourth annual Duh Awards. So head on over to the TVNews.tv on Facebook and give us your nomination for the dumbest, most undecided, and most heralded events that happened in the TV industry in 2012. Now, if you want to be a sponsor of the TV News, we'd love to have you right along with us. To get started, just shoot us an email at advertise at the TVNews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.